Hello, welcome back. It is Penguin Plays Nuzlocke, Episode 4. Uh, I thought I had a funny pun, but I don't. Because I was going to do something about how I locked myself out of my room, but I already did that one. I think that was one of the first ones I did. Either way, here we are. We just uh, blew the doors off of the Leaf Gym, Erica's Gym. And, um, yeah. Our team's looking great. I have no other words for it. They look awesome. Um, looking ahead, let's see. I never marked her as, fin as, as complete. Whoops. Um, we just beat Erica. And so, the next level cap is all the way at 43. Holy cow. But, we're not going to be leveling, really, because we're at a very healthy level for everything. Uh, next up will be the rocket hideout, actually. So we got to go to the basement of the casino. Uh, this place I always liked as a kid because it has the big, goofy, like, section with the floor tiles. Um, unfortunately, we don't get the Jesse and James fight that Pokemon Yellow does. Uh, but we do get to fight a Kangaskhan. Uh, so that's one thing. Overall, this is not that tough of an area, I think. They don't really have anything that scares me, other than, like, this guy with all of his Raticates could be problematic, but, uh, I'm hoping that this is a fairly business-as-usual kind of dungeon area. And then, just as a recap, this is going to be our party going forward for a while. Pericles the Pidgeotto, Jeff Sessions the Raticate that knows Dig, uh, really likes to get into the dirt. <laughs> uh, we got Disco Panic, who uh, currently is going, is, is only a gloom, but in discussion with my brain trust, we have decided that we will be giving the Leaf Stone to make a vile plume. Mostly because the only thing to really wait for is like level 54, they get Solar Beam, which is a two part move, which kind of isn't what we're all about, anyways. So there's no real reason to wait on Disco Panic. So we're just gonna get that big, hasty stat boost right off the bat here. Like, if we take a look at him now, uh... Like, a 59 special and 58 defense? That's a sturdy... A sturdy boy. Um... And we did teach it Mega Drain, which was a TM from Erica. So, Disco Panic should stay very strong and relevant for quite a while now. A little awkward that we got two grass, but God Emperor as our Venusaur. Uh, sorry, still just an Ivysaur, my bad. Uh. And then we got Mr. Rogert. Um. Or Mr. Roger, depending on how fancy he's being. That's relatively weak comparatively. I mean, we just were looking. His, his defense and special is 20, bo both of them, 20 lower than Vileplume's, uh, Disco Panics. So, tempted to use the Firestone on him. But, we did convene and the council has ruled that Flamethrower is too important at level 50, so we're gonna hold out. If things are looking dire, like, man, Mr. Roger, you just can't handle what's going on, then we'll give it to him. But, we're gonna wait. And then, same with Eevee. Not gonna commit to an Eevee illusion until we know maybe what we need later on. Uh, but we've got Faraday as well. The, uh... I'm still baffled that Voltorb doesn't, by default, learn a lightning move, you know? Or electric move. Just baffles me. I 
I don't have a coin case. Ah, oh, I forgot about that. I don't remember who I get a coin case from, so never mind. We're not gonna gamble. Honestly, I'm I'm really excited. Like Faraday's doing it for me. Faraday's been excellent, but the whole 15 uses of Thunderbolt really. That's some weak PP right there. I just can't. Just don't know if we can really have that on our team. <laughs> that was really dumb. I don't know why, uh, but I think Faraday's... gonna be okay against Drowsy? Maybe not. I don't really have a psychic slayer. Oh, that's a shame. And a crit? Ah, oh, man. I guess Mr. Roger should be okay against him. Okay, there we go. Man, Rapidates have so much raw power. I mean, I'm too scared to, to really fight them effectively. Um, I have a bit of a uh, updated potion policy, by the way. Uh, we're gonna- we're gonna try to be a little bit less scared about using potions or lemonades mid-fight and reserve them more for, uh, extending, uh, focus energy? No, get out of here. Um, Jeff Sedition does not know how to focus his energy. It's just raw, unchained all the time. Uh, but yeah, about the potions, uh, use them to help extend, like, leveling sessions and mostly uh, keep us rolling through uh, dungeon areas. Um, my turning myself into a lemonade stand did put a healthy dent in my savings. Well, actually, I'm at almost 30,000 again. I was at 18 after the lemonade stand maneuver. But for example here, like, we're, we're two people in and I already you know, Faraday and Emperor are a bit low. So I'm probably gonna pop them on down, but we're gonna try to be a little bit less cheesing uh, the fights by just going on a potion palooza. Maybe, uh, maybe Disco Panic's a good Radicate matchup. I mean, Disco Panic's nine levels above this Raticate, so it doesn't really matter too much, but... Uh, I hit him with the Absorb. Probably heal back a good chunk. Oh, jeez. Look at all that defense. Disco Panic, the brick wall. Maybe that's why there was a Panic. Don't really want a brick wall in the middle of your uh, dance floor. Yeah, losing only 7 health to uh, Eradicate, even 9 levels lower than you, is a pretty sturdy showing. Um, do I want to go down this staircase? Uh, I want to show some God Emperor. Get, get God Emperor some reps! Plus, Bachop's got a pretty low special, I think, so that should make Vine Whip relatively effective. Yeah. Oh, that's right, fighting is weak to... Or, uh, bug. Or, not bug, poison. Excellent. 
God Emperor is actually great defensively against Machops if they try to low kick me. Karate Chop is a concern. Double Edge. One. It's a hundred strength, hundred accuracy, but a quarter of the damage also dealt to the user. A hundred is a big number. Like, Body Slam is only 85. Who can learn it? Almost everybody. God Emperor doesn't really have a big move. Like, Tackle is my strongest normal move. Um... So, I'm... Kind of tempted. A quarter of the damage dealt to you, though? That's a lot. That's a lot for a Nuzlocke. We're not gonna... Let's not jump all over that yet. I remember as a little kid, this area was so confusing. It was almost impossible. Uh, don't want that one, don't want that one. We want this one. What's up, my dude? And actually, this is the baby version. A little baby. This is for babies. Actually, you shouldn't spin babies right round. Like a record player right round. A lot of passion in that rendition. Also, I think I might have got the lyrics wrong. I'm not gonna think too hard about it. Why did I use cut? Uh, Disco Panic against Rotatas and Raticates, so never a poor decision. Let's hit him with the Mega Drain! Oh, it was a crit! Look at that heal! <laughs> uh, let's get Mr. Roggert out there. I think he can handle it. Oh man, I was... I'm still disappointed that we killed the Drowsy and... We know. We didn't kill the Drowsy. We just never encountered one. We countered uh, an Ekans instead. That's right. I really wanted our, our psychic type to not be uh, uh, Kadabra and instead to be a Drowsy slash Hypno. Really wanted it. Wait, who has the lift key? I forgot you need the elevator working in order to get to Giovanni. So maybe this area down here isn't actually irrelevant, but is very relevant. Be able to sell that. Uh, what was TM2? Razor Wind? Is that actually flying, or does it sound like it should be flying and it's actually normal? Our Razor Wind is its normal. Focuses to energy for one turn, then attacks second turn. So it's a two-part attack for 80 strength? That's not even that good. I mean, I guess it doesn't hurt you, but Body Slams is 85 and has a 20% chance of stunning. Uh, this looks... Promising? Yeah. Because then we can go this way. Um, actually, I maybe should have switched because Roger just had his defense lowered. We're looking okay. Are they going to use Hyper Fang, do you think? Defense lowered and Hyper Fang's an option? I'm scared. So, let's just do the safe thing, be responsible with our Pupper Doge, and bring out Disco Panic. It was a Tail Whip. What were we afraid of? Absolute pansies. Oh well. Might be able to two-shot it? It looks like it might be half? Oh, Roger, why you got poisoned? You got the PlayStation Network! I didn't run out of antidotes fighting Erica, did I? Um... Oh. 
Oh no, we did! Oh no! Mr. Roger! Look, I mean, we've got 34 lemonades. It's not actually a concern. But... We do need to go to a hospital. Uh, so I'm gonna grab this item. Nice. Hyper Potion. How fast is... Oh. It's one health a step? That's fine. Also, we can just dig our way out of here. It's no... This is not an emergency at all, but... It's just scary to think about. Also, I might go buy a couple antidotes. I was doing so good at being patient, not over lemonating and stuff, and then the moment Mr. Roger had the PlayStation Network and I didn't have uh, a way to disconnect, instantly back to go heal. Gotta pet a, pet a kitty tummy. Let's see if I can get him on camera. Man, green screen, you're killing me here. Any amount... There he is. <laughs> Just laying on the floor, staring at me like a goober. Okay, um, for this fight, I'm gonna put Disco Panic first, because he's got a couple rock types, and then put the Kangaskhan, we'll just kind of see what our heart tells us. Little mini boss, little mini, little mini gym fight, essentially. We get to absolutely wreck house to start, though. Disco Panic, you let Onyx go before you? How gentlemanly. Absolute destruction, though. Hide your kids. Uh, actually, Rhyhorn? I think Rhyhorn's a rock type. Might be rock ground, though. Which, I guess, ground's also weak to grass, aren't they? Yeah, grass is strong against the ground as well, so I don't know what I was worried about. Maybe I wasn't worried, I was just stating words. Uh, honestly, Disco Panic could just sweep Giovanni if I wanted to. But I think we can safely switch to, to, to Disco Panic if we need to. Uh, maybe, is this Mr. Roger's fight? Doesn't feel like it. Could be Pericles' fight. Or we could bring out Jeff... No, let's bring out Jeff Sessions. I always thought that this art of Kangaskhan made him look like he was made of, like, melting, uh, ice cream. Just a thought. Hmm. That wasn't very good. It's also not good. Oh! Oh, Rage isn't doing that much damage, okay. That was a good Hyper Fang. Oh, Rage is the one where it gets stronger as it goes. Okay. Can it crit? Because this next one's going to hit like a truck. Oh, I thought maybe that was going to get... Uh, We can just quick attack him. If we, if we tried switching, we were going to for sure take a level 4 Rage hit, and that just didn't seem necessary to risk. That Grimer walked into the wrong neighborhood. This coughing, though, loaded into the wrong neighborhood. Ah, let's be honest, if Mr. Rog... Ooh, I keep saying stunt. It's paralyzed. Paralyzed is the keyword. If Mr. Roger really 
lived life in the footsteps of his namesake, Mr. Rogers, then he would be okay with coughing in his neighborhood, and he wouldn't discriminate against Grimer. But that's why there's a one-letter difference. Mr. Roger, it's not quite as uh, altruistic as Mr. Rogers was. Everyone wants to be his neighbor, but it doesn't mean it works the other way around. <laughs> uh, so we're definitely going to keep this video going. I, I kind of like the, the cadence of one gym fight per video. Uh, might be a while before we get to a gym, though, now that I think about it. Because we, we... I'm pretty sure... Well, I guess we don't... What is it that we... We need to do Sylph Tower to get the... Ah, oh, we, we get the, the flute to wake up Snorlaxes, but we could go... I think we can go to Saffron City because... Uh... Saffron City, you just need to give a drink to the the road guards, and then you get in. Um, what? There's a reason why you can't get in to fight. That's right, you have to save the Silco president before you can do Sabrina, so... We have to beat Silphco, which Silphco is not a walk in the park. That's actually a much harder area. Uh, as you can see, we'll have a rival battle with a level 40, uh, level 40 Flareon. In it. Uh, no, sorry, not Flareon, Charizard. Wish that's gonna be scary. Um. So it might actually be a hot moment before I try to do all this. We might actually uh, beat up on some of these lesser routes after we get the... Um, like, heck, even Koga doesn't scare me as much as... Yeah, we're, we're in an area where there's, it's not as railroaded. Um, so, we might end up breaking up the videos a little bit differently than normal. Um, let, let's see how long the, the video is uh, after Pokemon Tower. The tower should be a good fight. Um, honestly, there's so many Ghastlies. It might be... We might need to go get the one. The chosen one. Uh, Neo out of the box just for this area. If we can catch ourselves a Ghastly and turn him into a Haunter, though, that could be awesome. I would love to have a Haunter on our team. Um, I have no way to trade for a Gengar, so that's unfortunate. But uh, like a, having a Haunter on the team would be awesome. I also do look forward to... I like Hitmonlee way better than Hitmonchan, so we'll be grabbing a Hitmonlee. Like, Hitmonlee could find space on this team. That would be cool. The team's a little crowded. Seems a little crowded. I realize one easy way to have room on the team is for someone to bite the dust, which is not something I'm cheering for by any means. Um, what if we actually got a Cubone? Like our encounter wasn't a Ghastly, we got the rare 8% Cubone encounter. I would still love him, but I would miss the opportunity at a Ghastly. Either way, I'm going to pause, uh, but this video will continue. Just probably different lighting and different outfit, maybe. You never know. Okay, so for uh, the Ghost Tower, I did switch out temporarily Mr. Rogert for Neo. Uh, Mr. Rogert just depends a lot on his body slam right now, and uh, that's just not going to work, you know tower full of ghosts. Also, Neo with Confusion will just wreck them. They aren't weak to Psychic. Except, yes they are. I'm looking at it right now. Ghastly and Haunter are ghost poison. Yeah. They're about to get wrecked. 
Uh, but we got, um... Disco Panic leading golf, because I want to see if I can catch one. Well, I want to catch one. I want to catch one. So what I find interesting is, uh... So Jeff Sessions is still with us, because... Like, who am I gonna bunce for the ghastly future haunter? Our party, but never mind. Oh, devastating. Hello, jo Juliet. Devastating. And to top it all off, Cubone is super effective against Disco Panic. Just to rub it in. Oh. <laughs> so I haven't had bad luck with, like, random Pokemon dying. But man, I have had some pretty low rolls on missing out on some pretty sweet Pokemon. No Ghastly. No Haunter, no Drowsy, no Hypno. Cubone, who are you? I mean, we wanted a Ghost, but we got Cubone, so he's... Uh, let's see if we can fit it. The one... No. I was gonna say the one that lived, that's way too long. Can I sneak in False Prophet? Hmm, False Prof. That's good enough. Technically, I'm, I'm throwing away some XP that could be going to somebody else right now, but... Neo is... going to be relevant throughout the rest of the campaign, even... Uh, campaign. Through the rest of the... run, even if they're not in the starter group right now. So this is not wasted XP. This is perfectly fine. What is the disjointed thought that's coming out now? We're gonna have to think about who's the next person to leave the team. Um, honestly, my love of Jeff Sessions the character, the the meme that has grown out of this well, run has uh, is gonna make it hard for me to turn my back on him. Fair day, I really want to keep because we have an electric type. We got Mr. Roger, who's adorable. So Jeff Sessions might be the next one out when we get like a cool Pokemon. Um, and to be fair. It probably is okay. He knows Dig, though. And Dig is super helpful against um, all the, you know, anything fire related. AKA Charizard. However, actually, Charizard does know flying. So actually, we will need to be switching to a water type, anyways, to counter the. Uh, rivals Charizard. So, um, Jeff Sessions, your time is ticking. Maybe that's. Man, do I go hard in the paint and try to get a Dratini? How cool would it be to have a Dragonair? Uh, also, it'd take a lot of work. 
So what level do you get it at? Oop. Dratini. Level 18. If you get it from the casino. Doesn't level up to Dragonair until 30. And Dragonite at 55. <laughs> oh. Jesus, cats. Um. It doesn't even learn that cool of stuff, really. Slam, Dragon Rage, and Hyper Beam. There is the thing that, uh, Dragonite... Whoop! Jesus. Dra Dragonite actually isn't that cool. I mean, it can learn a lot of powerful TMs, but... He's just a lovable looking boy, I think, is the difference. Yeah, I don't know. Never mind. We're not gonna. Not gonna worry about that. I forgot. This is where the Marowak is. Uh, right? Marowak? Yeah! Level. Ooh. Uh oh. Hmm. I don't think Pericles is the right Pokemon for this fight. Yeah, uh, that wasn't great, but also doesn't affect me. Hmm. Hello, Jellybean. Are you just gonna eclipse the video? <laughs> Um, here's an idea. Pericles is going to set him up with a bunch of sand attacks. And then we're going to switch to one of the, the grass boys to, to really show some synergy here in this team comp. We're going to get Razor Leaf soon, right? Razor Leaves when God Emperor will really step up uh, their talents. Not that Vine Whip's bad, look. Vine Whip just wrecked them. Hey, uh, False Prophet, I just killed your mom. Ah, oh, Golbat, I forgot how big they made your tongue! Why does he have a tongue in the first place? He's a bat! Well, actually, bats have tongues. I'm sorry. But why, why is it so wide and human-like? I think that's really my, 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 my concern right now. Oh, you're not gonna forget it. Ooh. I'm so scared. Uh, no, I'll bring... Uh, you get 20 moves of Psybeam as well? Why would I... It's so powerful! Are all of them just gonna be nice names? A decent. Hmm. That's, uh, that's heresy. Calling the God Emperor just decent. Um, yeah. What is up next? Like I said, I think Saffron Silly is silly. Saffron City might be a little over leveled for us right now. Like even the fighting dojo, the rocket. Well, the rocket low. No, Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan level thirty-seven. Dang. Yeah. Um. However, there is a lot of space to play in right now. Uh, looking at Silphco... We could fight a lot of these, actually. They're right around our level. The scary things are the bosses at the end. Like, I don't think we're ready to fight our rival, Seal. I mean... Top to bottom, he's got a scary roster. Um, uh, 
However, like Fuchsia City could be a good spot to check out because we could get our get get surf and strength. Um, route 16 and then 12/15. These two routes have a lot of trainer battles on them, so it could be a great way to level up. And like Bicycle Road is mostly high 20s. Um, looking at like 12 through 15, similar thing, mid 20s. Honestly, this section is great for leveling. Look at all these Pokemans to beat the piss out of. So many, so many trainer fights. It's insane. And like, I know my brain trust is really high on Lapras. But, I've got to say, I have a real soft spot for Shelter. Look at that goober. I love him. I love him. Oh. Goldeen and Sea King are kind of like, eh, whatever. I guess a Psyduck. Hmm. Psyduck could be fun. Water and Psychic, I believe. Uh, behind that, yeah. So, hmm, we've got we've got some options. I think honestly, I think we might do the two long routes before we try to tackle either one of these cities, though, because they uh, these long routes have nice leveling options, and uh, Saffron's just got a lot of got some oomph to it. Uh, Giovanni, mm, ugh, level 41 Nidoqueen, actually. But, you know, that kind of stuff is not that consequential, you know. Uh, it's really the rival fight in Sylph Co. that has me shook. Um, and where do you encounter him? I don't remember. It's pretty close to the end? Sylph Code's massive. I can, and I forgot they have a healer in the building. I want to say it's in a room that's kind of shaped like this, I thought. Oh, it's right here. You pop in, you run into him. Yeah. Oh, and the same, and that's the guy that gives you the, the Lapras, I believe. Yeah, okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I mean, I'm gonna pause here because I'm gonna get to work on my leash, but, uh, this is a. I think I might be a little overshook about some of the levels, but like looking at like Sabrina, for example, like, am I ready to fight high 30s, low 40s psychic fights? No, I'm not. Well, I struggled against a level 26 drowsy, so uh, I think we're going to uh, probably go on a long leveling adventure and uh my only regret with doing that is, like, we're gonna introduce two new Pokemans. So maybe I'll only do one of the long routes to help level. Because if we're low 30s, then I think we can take that area. But I'd like to see most of the core party here. Um, there is an argument of, like, is it is it time for Jeff Sessions to bow out and let Neo have a full-time position? We'll think on it. I really like Jeff Sessions, so it's just fun. And the dig. Dig is so so good. Either way. I'll resume later. Okay, so I did some thinking. And here's the route we're gonna take. We are going to before we do Silph Co and Saffron's main boss. We are gonna...
Yeah, okay. We are we are gonna do the we're gonna go to Fuchsia City first. And at least visit there. A couple of reasons. One, if we go to Fuchsia City and we take route 12 through 16 or 15. It, we get a couple of things. We get the super rod, <clears throat> so we'll be able to fish for things more efficiently. We also uh, can do the safari zone and snag surf, um, which will be great for whatever future water type we get, which with the rod, I think we might go for like a shelter or a polywag or something like that. And then we're open to using Lapras later, but, um, and then we will bounce back and do the, the Saffron stuff, except <coughs> if we're going to be traipsing around all around and especially this one, like going from route 12 to 15 to get to Fuchsia has so many trainers. An absurd number of trainers, if you will. Like, there's 21... Plus 16... Like, oh, like, 37 trainers. So, I'm gonna want to have... Somebody with. And I do intend to include a Hitmonlee in this group. So, we are gonna go all the... We are gonna go to... Saffron quick and do one thing here and that is the fighting dojo because uh, Even though they have a level 37 hit on lead 37 hit on Chan So everything's in the 30s. We have a Pidgeotto uh, I'm sorry. We have a Pericles and Pericles should be able to wreck them Additionally, we'll keep Neo in the party for now and Neo will also be able to wreck them. So why am I walking there? Um, so, I have no doubt in my mind that we can take down the Fighting Dojo. Uh, and once we have Hitmonlee in the group, then I am feeling pretty confident that we can go to Fuchsia, hook ourselves up with a, a water type and surf, and then we'll clear out the rest of Saffron. Um... Double checking. Who are we missing right now? Disco Panet, Mr. Roger, Pericles, Jeff Sessions, Faraday. Oh, we already put Neo back. Um, which is not okay. We need Neo for this. Um, what is fighting actually strong against? Um. Is there anything we actually, anybody we can't have with us? Fighting strong against normal ice and rock. Which is also a good question. Why do I want Hitmonlee in the group so bad? I don't know. <laughs> um, I guess Sessions isn't great in this arena. Also, it might be time for Sessions uh, to ride the bench. The fact that I used Eradicate for half of the adventure is pretty good. But I think we are going to put Sessions away for a bit. Uh, and likely use... Um, I forgot we have a Machop. Hmm. Nah, Hitmonlee is cooler. Man, Saffron City, for being the biggest city, is so boring. The fact that it just uses the normal theme and everything. What a miss. What a missed opportunity. Oh, but with that red map, it is going to be a while till I get an actual badge. So I think after this, we'll wrap it up and have this be a video. Honestly, we might just run out of flies doing this gym. That's my only real concern. Especially if they're gonna use X attacks? Oh, come on.
Okay, that one was on me. <laughs> I, we are underleveled, so I, I, I can't get too cute with some of these things. Oh, and then I forgot we were on quick attack. I was just clicking too fast. Ah, uh, the crits, man. A single fly should knock him out, right? Also, oh, I thought we were gonna go first there. Oh, it's we're we're evenly matched. It was 50-50. I'm still pretty confident we can do this. Because, uh, you know, our other Pokemon are able to take some of these guys down. Fighting is not like a counter to pretty much anything we're up to. Thinking about like types that hurt me, it's psychic. <laughs> Maybe I don't want a fighter on the team. Yeah, I mean, the more I think about it, maybe... Um, man, that X attack did a lot for him. Uh... Focus energy just guarantees a crit. So, another make... Hmm. Oh, double X attack? Hmm. That was an odd choice. Okay. I mean, if you're just gonna focus on energy all day, we will be perfectly fine. Man, I cannot wait for Razor Leaf. When is Razor Leaf? Razor Leaf is 30. Oh, we're only uh, a couple levels away. Good stuff. And then after that, growth and sleep powder. Pretty pretty gross. But then the solar beam. Pretty good. Uh, what do we got next? You know what? Let's try it. Why, uh, why not? Let's try it. Give him the body slam. Immediately a crit karate chop. Technically that last attack did 36 to me. No! What? It was different! on me. There we go. Mr. Ragu, I... We flew too close to the sun. That is what happened. Why did I switch to Faraday? Oh, man. Oh, it's Faraday's fast. That's why. I was thinking. But oh, man. I was I was really happy and excited to have Mr. Rogert as our fire type. I'm not even sure if we get a chance at another fire type for a bit. Like Ponyta, Vulpix, all that? I think it isn't until Cinnabar now. Well, that was rough. We we saw it coming too. I was even just like, you know, I probably shouldn't do this. This isn't his gym. 
And then a level 31 Mankey comes up, and I'm thinking, you know, actually, we can sneak some XP. We didn't have a whole... I shouldn't have come here! I shouldn't have come here! I don't even know what to think! Okay. Oh, okay. We're gonna- we're gonna get out of here. Oh, wow! I forgot to still hit my chan. Oh, no. Uh, no, no fooling around. No fooling around. Critical hits all around! <sighs> okay. We will grieve in a minute. We just have to focus up and get out of here. Another fire punch. Okay, when it doesn't crit, it's fine. <sighs> okay, Hitmon Lee. Hitting us with... A not very effective move, but still, because it's against our defense, um, yeah, it was just too good. <coughs> Plus the crit. If it hadn't a crit, I think we might have been fine. But golly, I did. I, I expected uh, Neo to still be faster. Oh, man. You know what? It almost feels bad to take Hitmonlee. Now, after they slaughtered Neo. But, um, yeah. Shit. Well, okay. Uh... This wouldn't have happened if I had gotten that drowsy. Okay, so now we're short two Pokemon. This is actually Attorney General Jeff Sessions is doing. Uh, he made this happen. Um, so he Hitmonlee killed Neo. Mr. Anderson, the chosen one. Uh, Neo famously doesn't die in the Matrix movies, but does he ever lose a fight? He ends up beating Agent Smith. Uh, but maybe this is the, the timeline where Agent Smith wins. Um, And actually, okay, wait. The six Matrix fights that Keanu leaves as Neo lost, and why? Okay. Uh, the first Kung Fu game against Morpheus? Hmm. The 100 Agent Smiths and... Super Agent Smith. I don't remember much from that fight. He loses the first Subway fight? Uh, oh, he does run away. Hmm. It's a tough one. I wanna, I wanna pay homage to Neo. 
Uh, we'll just call him Agent Smith since he was Neo's nemesis. And that my original idea in my head coming into this was I was gonna name him Charlie Brown because he likes to try to kick things. Uh, but often misses because Hitmonlee learns a move called High Kick and it does damage to you if you miss with it. Um, okay, wow, we need to go... We got some... We got some housekeeping to take care of. No our canine in our future. No... Well, we weren't gonna have an Alakazam for trading reasons, but, uh, no... Kadabra in our future. Kadabra's a big blow. I don't remember the last time... Oh, don't heal him. I don't remember the last time I, uh... actually beat the game without a Kadabra in the party. So, yeah, Neo, he's gone. I refuse... I don't want to release him. Uh, but we will not use them anymore. And Mr. Roger... And actually, let's do... Let's do a, a In Memoriam quick. Neo, we were so shook over losing Mr. Roger. I didn't even think it was possible. But that 27 defense and being out leveled by 8 levels, negligence on my part. Negligence. Should have used Pericles. And you had just learned Psybeam. And then, of course, we have uh, Mr. Roger. You know, we, we struggled to level you. Your very mediocre stats bit us in the dust. And math, I think, might have betrayed me. It didn't betray me. That first attack was a crit karate chop that did 36. And the second one was a crit karate chop that did at least 37. So the game had some bullshit going on, which is not my fault. You, We will remember you, Mr. Roger. Um, instead, our party will now have an Agent Smith. And we will also be grabbing... Probably Jeff Sessions again. Is there anyone else that we should sneak in at the moment? We still have a bird Pokemon, so we're fine there. MacArthur? No, MacArthur is not really that relevant. Shy Hulud seems silly for the same reasons why... Jeff Sessions seems silly. Dig is getting a little less relevant with Charizard on Horizon. Who is Gene Parm? Oh, that's our Eevee. This could be... Maybe this is the reason... Maybe we have found a reason and we actually make Gene Parm a Flareon. How bad... Okay, how bad is Flareon? I don't remember a Flareon being all that great. Um, it could help soothe the wounds. Well, okay. Here's the thing. Jolteon is so good. That special and speed combined, amazing. Flareon has the strongest attack. But really, we want them for the fire more than anything um what a confusing setup here oh because pokemon yellow has different attacks so they would learn quick attack pretty so they don't learn a fire move till 31 which the evie's 25 right now so that's not great You don't learn Bite till 40, Flamethrower till 54. Flareon's kind of rough. Vaporeon was floated as potentially a good option, but same thing. They don't learn Water Gun till 31, and then a more. Well, actually, but we would have Surf. Surf is a huge difference maker for water types. And I forgot, Pokemon Yellow, you get a Roar Beam, but you don't in... Hmm. 
there's gotta be more, re you know, more options for fire than just Flareon, though, right? Before Cinnabar? Like, we're here. Uh, oh, Pokemon Yellow could get a Ponyta on the bike road, but we can't. Fusion, oh. Uh, even, you know, Safari Zone? Nothing for fire. Um, the other route? No, a Venonat. And a ditto. Man, yeah, we don't have another fire option for quite a while. Not until we get a Cinnabar. And then we get a get a run at like Ponyta. How important is it that we have a fire type? I mean Maybe that's the thing, is it's not actually that important. Fire is strong against grass, ice, and bug. Fighting is also strong against ice, and we are going to rock uh, Agent Smith now, so that's fine. And Grass... Ideally, we're, we're going to have an ice type. Or ice moves in our water type. Um, also, flying is good against grass, so we, we got our recovery there. Maybe fire isn't the most important type to, to grab. The thing is, if we're going to level a Flareon, 25 right now would be the time before we go embark on some long runs. So, I'm going to... This is where we're going to end the video. I'm going to propose the idea, do we make a Flareon? And bump. I'm not even sure who we would bump at this point. Uh, for now, let's put Jeff Sessions back in our party, though. Uh, so currently, the party is Faraday, Disco Panic, God Emperor, Pericles, Agent Smith, the Hitmonlee, and Jeff Sessions. Um, should we bump probably Sessions for Flareon? Or should we stay the course as is and probably bump sessions for like a Sheldor or a Lapras? Wow, yeah, don't, not doing that again. Uh, trying to think that we can go in horribly under leveled. Eight levels was maybe a little too low. I just want to see how many we've we've seen we've caught 30 different types. Um okay. Well that's that episode. We beat a gym. <sighs> Tune in next time we're going to go fight a billion trainers, get surfed from the Fasari Safari zone and then uh, other stuff. Adios. <laughs>